fun little story. Yeah, today we're becoming a Lisa main. Let's just go ahead and start swapping over these artifacts. I can't even say they're that good, but at least they are artifacts. And would you look at that? Lisa is now... Anyways, let's go do our dailies. See, we used to be using Yaimiko in this slot for the Hyper Bloom stuff because we have to keep the Hydro character on field since we don't have a Kokomi, but it, it's fine. We can use Mona's E and do a scuffed Hyper Bloom this way. I mean, not scuffed, not scuffed at all. Obviously, Lisa is the exact character that you would want on a team like this because then we can put down her burst and that lets us swap over to a Hydro character to just get tons of Hyper Bloom. And some of you might be thinking like, oh, you're only doing this because there's a skin for Lisa. No, def definitely not. I just so happened to randomly have the revelation that I wanted to start using Lisa. You know, having Mona and Lisa on the same team, it's this crazy concept. I made a video on it a while back. I call this team Mona Lisa. Very creative, I know. Why game do this? Why no daily commission symbol on my map? Now I have to go in here and then navigate to it and then oh look it's here and it's also one of my least favorite ones game's so silly sometimes oh but this is a perfect chance for a lisa showcase look they're all dendro and now they're all hyper bloomy Wow, they died very quick. That is definitely because my Lisa build is insanely good and has nothing to do with the fact that Hyper Bloom is just kind of cracked. Oh look, I got Perfectionist. What can I say? I'm just too good at this game. I mean, I play it for a living, although uh, in, in all honesty, I'm, I kind of suck at it, which is even worse because I play it for a living. But you know, if I was insanely good, where's the fun in that? Then you don't get to see me suffering. Me being bad just adds to the content, or at least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. Also, while I was farming on this account off camera, we hit AR 55. So I think we have, oh yeah. And then I bought this, wait, how do I have five though? Oh yeah, I can't afford the last one. I'm kind of, kind of poor, but we do have four of those wishes plus the one from ascending. And let's see if we can at least get a purple. Any catalyst purples would be very nice to have. No eyes of perception though. I can't say I'm a big fan of that weapon. Okay, purple, let's do like weed sit. Let's do not that. Let's try that again. Yeah, no, okay. But you see, I am no longer poor, so I will be taking this. And with this wish, we will get the all-powerful purple, the Widsith, the sacrificial fragments, the... Noel, the C4 Noel. Ooh, I do have a little question for you guys. I have two catalyst blueprint things. Should I use them to make refinements for either the prototype amber or mappa? Because that would either be extra elemental damage bonus or restoring more HP. Although to be fair, it's not that much more HP. Oh, resin's capped. Hold on, gotta go spend that. I know we could go over to new shiny domain over here to get the hyper bloom set for Lisa. Definitely not Yaimiko. And I guess you could say we could put this animo damage thing on Hazo if we were to get it, which is actually kind of tempting now that I say it. I was gonna say we should farm this one because then we could get pieces for Nahida or Gilded Dreams for anyone who wants EM. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do it. New shiny domain. Here I come. Current party level levels lower than recommended. Oh yeah? Watch me. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be almost too easy, honestly. The only bad thing is Lisa's burst kind of pushes them away, so then it stops applying the electro, so you don't really get the hyper blooms anymore. But that, that's actually exactly what we want, of course. Because as a Lisa main, I know exactly what I'm doing. You know, if, if I wasn't a Lisa main right now, I would say that with Yaimiko, this team plays a lot smoother. But of course, I wouldn't say that, because as a Lisa main, that, that's sacrilege. I actually have a new idea that might work a little better. And now let's hope we can get at least something usable in here. Not really. Now hear me out for a second here, alright? Same team, except instead of Barber, we bring Sucrose, so we can throw the burst inside Lisa's burst. And that way, they're forced to stay in it, and then we can swap to Mona and do hydro damage while the hyper bloom goes off. I am truly such an intellectual. I want to see some juicy EM pieces coming out here. Like... Nope. Like, n nope. L 
Huh, wow, okay. But you see, I've learned this time, okay? We throw out this, then we put up one of these, then we put down one of these, and then this, and then one of this, and then one of these, and it's gonna be beautiful. It swirled pyro, that sucks. And they're, they didn't, they did not get pulled in. I would hereby like to revoke my own intellectual membership card. To be fair though, this is probably the team we would have to run in the abyss because we would need a healer on the other side and we have both prototype and if we swap out sucrose, we would have Barber here too. Not not good to leave one side defenseless. Also not good to make you guys so jealous with these artifacts like the next one. Next one inbound. Oh my gosh. It's Oh, it is EM. Okay. If it goes all ER, it's usable. So let's try and level up the purple strawberry and see what it defense right okay here's the thing i'm gonna put it on for now because hyperbloom doesn't really require all that much but the er would have been kind of nice last of the condensed resins and we're gonna see e defense geo damage okay and that is why I never make much progress on these accounts. Now let's go pay a quick little visit to our main. And I don't mean the main account, I mean our, our main character, Lisa, because we're Lisa main. I do find it kind of funny how they've done so much promotional stuff, like, oh, there's a there's a Lisa skin coming. But then in this cutscene, they try to hide who it is as if we're not going to know that it's Lisa when she's plastered on the event page. If they're going to take this little, like, ooh, dramatic entrance approach, then they shouldn't show her to us beforehand. What? It's Lisa? Whoa! I had no idea. Well, a couple left clicks later, the event domain is now available. I can't see the Nahida beforehand, but their Nahida it, it might be better than ours? I'm gonna take mine instead. Though I'm not even going to pretend that my Lisa is better than theirs. There is just no way that that's the case. So I'm curious to see how fast these enemies melt on easy difficulty. I assume it's going to be decently quick or at least maybe I should say I hope oh my gosh yeah they're they're just dead okay it's gonna be hard to actually keep the dendro applied to them perhaps I should have come in on a higher difficulty okay on the next one we'll do a higher difficulty because this is uh this is kind of sad oh these guys okay let's just see how much does the oh wait who has Thrilling Tales? Do you have Thrilling Tales? No, you have you have that do you have Thrilling who is Thrilling Tales? Is that Thrilling Tales? Yes it is okay to Hazo punch 73k not bad okay okay new one we go with this and then thrilling tales and then and then back to you and then punch 84k maybe a little too easy this time we'll try it on normal difficulty oh we have a kokomi kokomi every team perhaps this will pose more of a threat to us i don't know still seems pretty easy although i think the trial characters definitely help a lot but it's fine that at least they're all catalysts well not like all the trial characters are catalysts but the ones that we're using are catalysts imagine if we actually had a kokomi instead of only getting trial ones oh it'd be so nice i'm waiting on that kokomi rerun someday it's gonna happen and we are 100% pulling for her. I think I said it in one of the previous videos when we were upgrading Hazo a little bit, but I do actually find his playstyle pretty fun. The problem is I just don't have great characters to pair him with, and then with Dendro it doesn't work that well because you can't get the swirls. But like, Barbara is the best thing that we have to use alongside him. So many of the Catalyst characters want to be on field. So if we have a full Hyper Bloom team on one side of the Abyss, and then we wanted to use Hazo on the other side, our team would be something like Hazo, Barbara, and then it would be either double pyro, which Klee and Yanfei both want to be on field as well, or Geo with Ning Wang, which doesn't play very nice with Animo. If I play this right, we should be able to hit a higher number with Hazo. All we need to do is get one of these up, and then swap to Klee, swap back to Hazo, and then punch. I really didn't see the damage there. Let's try it again. We swap to Klee. We swap to ha Hazo and then Punch and 73k. This team sucks. Not that the characters are bad, but they really don't work together. We have like a spread aggravate and then Geo and Animo are here too for some reason. It's like when you bite into a donut expecting it to just be a donut and then all of a sudden there's jelly inside that just starts oozing out. You're like, I, I didn't want a jelly donut. I just wanted a regular donut. They're just here, but I don't know why. Caveman. 
Huh? Is that the name of the level? Or so? Cave- what? Cavemen? What do cavemen have to do with any of this? Also, why are they not giving us any more trial characters for catalysts? So once again, we're gonna see if we can hit a bigger number with Hazo. We just have to wait about 20 seconds for Thrilling Tales to come back up. Then we'll swap to Barbara, swap back to Hazo, and punch! 82k! Wait, I just realized this is supposed to be a Lisa video, not a Hazo video. And one more time, just because, you know, why not? Oh. Oh, that- that wasn't a crit. I guess this kind of team, not the Hazo, but just this Hyper Bloom comp can work better against enemies that don't take knockback, because then Lisa's burst can actually do something against them. So that's something to keep in mind for the Abyss. See, this? This looks nice. There's a lot of numbers here. I am a fan of that. Oh, oh, that- that was everything. Now we just go through and claim our rewards. And of course, the main reason why we did this the free skin. Here you go, Lisa. I think my favorite part of the swap in this design is that the hair is symmetrical. I don't know why. It just really bothered me before, but now it doesn't. Wait, wait, is this just a Sumeru thing or is this part of the skin? The ground is glowing as I walk around. Wait, is this... Is that actually part of the skin? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Well, I, I don't think I see it here. It's also very bright, so uh, make it nighttime real quick. And... I guess it was just the Sumeru thing. Oh, that's so sad. I really liked that. I thought that that was something with the skin and I was going to be so excited. But sadly, it's just something that happens in this specific grass. Hey, psst, you, yeah, you. This is Java from the future with a very special message to tell you. Uh, yeah, it's right here in my book. Let me, yep, flip to that, that page. Okay, yep. What is it? Oh, no, it was this page, right? Subs, no, it was this page. Subscribe. Oh, that's right. Do it. I do dare you. Well, now for Elisa main, we should try to ascend her, right? To max ascension? I mean, it should be doable. We need six of the highest tier of this, so uh, yeah, just to go ahead and craft. Make some of these, and not not quite there, but very close to being there. Ooh, okay, I, I think we should still have enough of this to buy some of these. We didn't have that much because we did buy the Acquaint Fate before. And since we're probably never going to get a Cryo Catalyst, we're just going to go ahead and transform those into some of the Electro ones. Very nice. That lets us craft up the last one that we needed. So now she just needs 18 more of the slime concentrate. Can I craft 18 more of that? I'm gonna guess no. Ooh. Ooh? Wait. If we just make a nice cool 60 of these and get six bone. Wow, sucrose is right on target. And then we can make 18 of these. Goodbye, LUPs and Mora. And hello to Max Ascended Lisa. Oh, and she does ascend into EM. Okay, very nice. Now, for Hyper Bloom, having EM, you know, it, it, on that character, it's good to max their level because that just helps with the whole reaction-y stuff. I, look, I, I definitely uh, completely understand why that's the case. It, it's just, I'm not going to explain it because, you know, I don't want to overload your brains. Oh, what's funny is the Mappa also requires the same stupid slime. If I can craft two of this domain drop, oh, <gasps> I can? Well, since that's the case, we're gonna try to max out her weapon as well. So we need to farm up some of the Geovish apps and I should probably, I hate to say it, but farm slime. Hello, little guy. Don't be, don't be mad at me. I just need your drops. It's a very noble cause. And wow, that, that's a lot of damage. And these are very nice drops if I do say so myself. Oh, we're hitting 16Ks with the Hyper Bloom. That's pretty nice to see. But of course, that can go much higher. This should be a tally for how many times I say it, but a Kokomi would be so incredibly nice right now. That would really let Lisa shine a lot more. If we do get a Kokomi on this account, do you guys think that we're gonna clear Spiral Abyss on here before Swords Only? I mean, with Kokomi, Nahida, and then Electro, you kind of just kill things and it makes it very hard for them to kill you. And then the other side could be, I don't know, Barbara, Hazel, Mona, and 
something else. Although let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We still don't know when or if a Kokomi rerun is coming anytime soon. Hopefully for those watching in the future, there's a Kokomi rerun not that long after this video goes up and you could comment like, oh, I'm, I was here and I know that Kokomi comes fast, so he must be happy. Unless you're from the future and there's still not a Kokomi rerun, in which case I am very sad. I think the best part about Hyper Bloom is that I mean, her talents are sick, so they're not that unleveled, but you really don't have to care about the talents. Sure, it's just more damage overall, but Hyper Bloom doesn't require that. You know, that's probably why it's my favorite reaction in the game. It's so easy to make it work well. And I actually don't remember, do we have const- Oh, we don't have a single constant. This would be nice. It'd be really nice to get some extra energy recharge stuff on her. Unfortunately, there's... Well, hold on. Is there a way to get a Lisa? No, okay. So as I was going to say, unfortunately, there's no way for us to get more Lisas right now. Unless I were to just spend probably thousands of dollars on the standard banner. I doubt that I need to tell you guys this. But farming slime is not a very fun thing to do. Some enemies you get lots of drops from, so it's really fun to farm them. It feels rewarding. You farm a slime, you, you know, sometimes get one of the most common drop. But with that being done, let's hope that we are able to max this weapon out. So we need eight of the purple fossils, which luckily we can craft. And exactly, 11 blue slime. I'm going to predict no bonus. Oh, one. Okay, I'll take it. So we can now ascend this. And even if some of you are going to leave comments saying that this isn't the best weapon for her, it's fine. It's a catalyst. This is spells only. So maxing this is only good for the account. Now we go ahead, waste tons of materials and Mora, and now she has a little more EM. It's really sad that the magic guide gives that much more EM in comparison as a three star. Now, of course, the base attack is much lower, so it makes sense. But if it wasn't on Nahida, then I would put that on Lisa right now. Wait, is it is it better? To give her that? Since she's procking Hyper Bloom, and this lets you do 24% more damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Electro, which happens in Hyper Bloom, does that mean that Hyper Bloom does 24%? You know what? Let's go test it. Let's go see right now which weapon allows her to do higher Hyper Bloom stuff. And obviously, whichever one that we don't use would go on Nahida. We're not gonna be doing any buffs or anything like that to just raw Hyper Bloom damage. Okay. So we're going to put one of these up. We're going to put one of these down and then do this and 16K, 16K. So it looks like 16. Yeah, 16,000. But what if we go in and we swap the weapons? Obviously, it brings down Nahida's EM a little bit and you want her to have just as much EM as possible. But I'm curious to see if this would in fact be better for the team. Someone is already furiously typing what the answer is. Dendro and then one of these and then some of this and we see 70. 17Ks. So it is stronger this way. Now it's not by all that much, but hey, more damage is more damage. Now I will say, I don't think the 24% applies to the Hyper Bloom. I think that the damage increase is just based on the raw EM. But with that being said, this could still be improved. We don't need an electro damage bonus set and we don't need crit rate. These aren't even maxed. And I mean, for good reason, they're not the best pieces. But here's what we're gonna do. We condense up whatever we have, head on back over to the artifact domain and we just aim for em pieces on the correct set it will hurt me to power them up but if they have like em and er that's perfect and then if we ever get a better one we can just shove it into that one to power it up now one thing i'm not sure of is because i swapped their weapons does that mean that nahida's like e purification whatever they call it if that is doing less damage across all enemies per hit because if that's the case then it might still be better to run it the other way but that's something i will let you guys let me know of down in the comments can we see an elemental mastery piece well that's the Wrong. You know what though? I will keep this because I do not have many pyro damage bonuses. Oh, wait. E-M-E-R? That could be very nice. Yeah, because we don't need this. And that will finish a two-piece set. And now we just hope it doesn't go into defense. Or the flat HP. E-R, E-M, amazing. Both would be great. What do we get? Defense percent. That's literally how every artifact I ever power up rolls. Perhaps I did not make myself clear enough. E-M, Thank you. Yep. E good. Good. You listened. Let's try this again. EM. 
Oh, you know what? I'll take ER. I'm not going to complain about that. Now, I'm not going to max it just because I don't want to waste all of our materials in case we get another piece that looks kind of juicy. But we're up to 747 EM and 143 ER. Making progress. What are our hyper blooms doing now? 19k let's see if we can get them to at least 20k by the end of this video i feel like that should be doable this time for sure this time it's gotta be em i mean it has em just not where we want it i will say these uh these guys right here these ugly water mushroom people it's definitely not a person but you know what i mean yeah they're slowly becoming one of my least favorite enemies in the game because they have a stupid rapid fire water ball attack that just stun locks you like that. Exactly like that. Thank you for demonstrating. I am slightly confused, but I might know the answer. The hyperblooms now are only doing 17k again. Could be because the enemy has a resistance to dendro -y stuff. I'm going to hope that that's the reason. Oh, wait. Neither of you. Oh, wait, Hazo, I got something for you. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I do not need that much HP on him. And I have so much confidence in this piece that I can get rid of the other one entirely. It's all right. I would have preferred a little more crit rate on there, but at least the last stat was attack percent and then EM is okay. That's not crit rate. Atta you know what? It's okay. Not the best, but it's still an overall improvement for Hazo. How is Hazo so selfish that he's trying to take over Lisa's video? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blooms. Blooms hitting for 21k. Hi hyper blooms. So yeah, those other guys, they just have resistance. That means I already beat my go. Okay, you know what? Maybe 25k. We'll see if we can hit a 25k hyper bloom this is our last condensed resin that we have please give us e ah, this is the wrong set do i have an em crown i do it's not great but if it rolls er then it's usable who am i kidding no matter what i'm gonna have to use it on her and it did not roll er but it's gonna roll it this time just like i said i am 100 percent about to run out of materials oh another er yes survey says Ew. Let's just get all of the ER pieces up to level 16, like a so. What did we get? Ew. <laughs> Come on, the, the ER was right there. Why are you going in the defense? Also, I just realized our Mora has fallen under a million. That is never a fun time. Oh. Oh, we're out. And I don't have any other... Art. Oh, wait, wait, are these bad? I mean, this is so copium. Why am I even keeping it? More crit... Uh, that's a lot of crit rate. Not really what I was going for, but better than defense. We are so close to a thousand EM. Oh, wait, uh, why is Nahida so low? What's going on here? EM? 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 Uh, they're not really leveled oh well let's go try to hit a twenty-five thousand hyper bloom i mean this should be easy once again we just uh, pop your little core like so apply you with some dendro put down the hydro and then do some electro and we see 22 okay that's unfortunate okay okay we're, we're gonna cheat a little it's not cheating we're, we're not even gonna cheat actually you know what we're not cheating we are just using the tools available at our disposal what does that mean you ask well it means pressing q so all we do once again pop the core apply the dendro use the burst this time then the hydro and then the hyper bloom and we see 25 k's exactly what we were looking for so with no buffs up we have 981 em and then if we press q that that's not the q button if we press q then go to lisa and open up the menu we have 1226 em i would say that's a pretty decent amount of em to have and again it could be higher if we went through and maxed all these pieces and if the flower and feather both rolled even higher into em just out of curiosity will you roll higher into em no okay yeah i'm completely out of power at materials so sadly over the next couple days i think i need to spend my resin on ley lines recouping the mora i spent and gathering up some more lups i would step foot in the spiral abyss but i don't really feel like being stressed out right now i would try to do some huge damage showcase with the lisa but with hyper bloom there's not really that much setup you can do it really is just a matter of applying hydro dendro and an electro so unless i'm just being stupid which is very possible and likely i think that the 25k is the highest that we could hit right now so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see all of you next time